Welcome to the Body of Christ Training Centers. And today we're going to talk about barren trees and we're going to talk about dead wells. And then we're going to talk about the contract of the Ark of the Covenant. Right here, the contract of the Ark of the Covenant. And we're going to talk about the armor of God and how to, to rate your armor, how to know if the armor is working. Okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about it says, in you will be a fountain springing up until the last in life, and that's our last chamber. So there's seven days worth of, of, of challenges that we're going to give you to show you how to make this fruit grow. But the first thing we want to talk about is barrenness. So why don't you go with your Bible to 2 Peter chapter 1, 2 Peter chapter 1, and it talks about but an also, in verse 5, this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. A lady came to me and she said, Pastor Brian, my faith is not working. And so I went to God and prayed and fasted. And if you just joined us, go to your Bibles to 2 Peter. I'm going to train you. This is Body of Christ Training Centers, jcntv.com. You can call us at 949 432 0812 and join our Bible school and we meet every day at uh, 12 to 3 or you can come on Saturday morning Sabbath services and Sabbath services start at 9 o'clock 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock and we have locations in San Diego and we have locations in Escondido and Orange County you can call us at 949-432-0812 so if you're not doing anything Saturday morning Come to the Sabbath services and learn how to rest in the Lord. Amen? Every day, you should be resting in the Lord. You shouldn't be panicking. You shouldn't be getting in stress. Why? Because you're growing these seven trees. And we're going to go over these seven trees in a minute. But I, wanted, I want you to see where it says in 2 Peter chapter 1, but also for this re very reason, given all diligence. Now, just like you're you're, you have a cell phone and you might need different applications to download so this is a download okay for your will to cause these wells to start springing up John chapter 5 it says in you will be a fountain a well spring but see you need a you need a, you need a you need a fountain connected to the well the fountain is the Holy Spirit so your well is your heart that's why a lot of people are impotent and void and barren it says add to your faith virtue so a lot of people don't even know they need a virtue tree. That's why Proverbs 31 says, who can find a virtuous woman? So you need a full conception of this. It says that when God spoke in Genesis 1, the Holy Spirit hovered over God's word. And that's what happens. When you pray and ask Jesus to give you a new character in Christ, the Holy Spirit hovers. And that's the fountain right there. And that's, that's what gets rid of these barren trees. Oh, the, the, you got saved, but you're not bearing any fruit. John, chap, John chapter 15, verse 1 through 12. It says, add to your faith virtue. So virtue is Christian energy. So, but if you have something else clogging it, Mark chapter 4, if you have the cares of this life, worry, the deceitfulness of riches, vanity, perversion, the lust of other things, the wrong appetites, Enter in and choke the word, meaning your spirit, instead of, instead of it captivating the word of God, the Bible says, bring it into all captivity to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 10, 3, 4, and 5, bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. So if you, don't, if you don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit to recover, if the Holy Spirit is not recovering the well, See, that's why they put machine. There's, there's, there's oil under there. Then they put a rig on top of the oil well to make the oil come out. Then they have to separate the oil. And that's what we're going to talk about uh, in this session in the 5th on in May. We have a 12-month course. At two years, you're going to get a certificate. And we're talking about how to install the scripture as equipment. The word of God is an is a oil rig equipment system so you can put it on your oil wig of the Holy Spirit that's called the hidden man of the heart and then the Holy Spirit makes the oil come out now he says in John 15 2 he that bears fruit God purges you what happens if you have a billion barrels under the under the earth 
What are you going to do? You're going to put more equipment to produce more oil. And that's what God is doing to you. So the things you're going through right now, you're going through purging. God wants to cut out the root. The what of the root? Blindness. The Bible said for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. First John chapter one, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye and the pride of life. It is not of the father. This is what blinds us in this fifth chamber. But it's of the world. It's of the devil. And in, 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 in Luke four, and I'm going to uh, this. This is my other book. It's called it's called the temptation of Jesus. The devil took Jesus on this high mountain to test his recovery system, to test his equipment. He said, oh, if you bow down and worship me, look, I control all these towers, all these wireless signals. If you bow down and worship me, listen, I'll give you all this. And what did Jesus say? You should not tempt the Lord thy God. Why? Because all this, wire, all these telephone systems, fiber, all of this God has in heaven. God created the wireless uh, fiber octave system. God created wireless telephone. That's why the spectrum, these radio spectrums have been here for years thousands of years but nobody could use them until a hundred years ago think about that so you can talk straight to Jesus all you need to do is call on the blood of Christ say Lord Jesus wash me in the blood forgive me for my sins baptize me in the spirit Acts chapter 2 verse 38 baptize me in the spirit fill me with the spirit and then what happens is this well starts working okay and when this well starts working it starts springing up like this it's called a recovery zone. It starts springing up with love and joy and peace, long suffering, goodness, faithfulness. Why? You're priming the pump. How are you priming the pump? The Bible said, I travail in birth till Christ be formed in you. Christ is being formed in you. And that's why you become more holy and godly. The Bible says, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. You need to have the right knowledge or you'll stay in a salvation zone. You'll never go in an in a image zone of Christ. You'll never go in a healing zone. You'll stay broken and divided. Let's look at the quality of the garden in your family. Okay? Are you getting sick all the time? Are you arg fighting and arguing? Or are you, is the Holy Spirit controlling the atmosphere of your house? See, the Holy Spirit should be Lord over your house with Jesus and the Father. And that's what this fourth chamber is. The fourth chamber, when the Holy Spirit is in control the Bible says add to your faith knowledge watch this and knowledge self-control there's peace in your house you're why because there's peace you're a peacemaker see when you plant the seed of being a peacemaker then your children will start being peacemakers they won't be hiding in their bedroom on the, the Atari they'll sit at the table for dinner they'll they'll want to be around you and talk to you why because you're picking making peace with them you have the authority as a believer to make peace in their garden all, everybody's looking for peace and love everybody that's why it says in, in, in Proverbs it says guard your affections for out of it flows the issues of life and then it says life and death is in the power of the tongue and those that speak it Proverbs 21 18 shall eat the fruit thereof so you're eating the fruit with your children because of the garden you have planted in them if you're running to the to the happy hour and and drinking and smoking and having fun with your friends and not paying attention to your children somebody else is training your children and this is why your children may be smart and getting good grades but are they depressed 